What up, it's your boy Ron, man. I'm back with another video. This is Trigger Reactions. Hope you guys are doing great on this beautiful Saturday. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Guys, we're back with another one. Um, This one, again, is coming from my guy, Joe Rogan. And he has Dave Portnoy. Port, how you say his name? Portnoy? Uh, yeah, Dave. Dave's on, and uh, they're talking about how mainstream media is dying, while independent media isn't. It's on the rise. It's, I mean, we're, I think most people are just sick of the narratives, the BS, the circus, the lies. People want to get the truth and the information on their own, and a lot of media, like Joe Rogan and others, they bring a lot of truth. And just put things in front of you that you probably wouldn't see or hear or know about from mainstream media. But yeah, let's get into it, man, with Dave Portnoy, Joe Rogan. Mainstream media is on its deathbed. Let's check it out, guys. And then you have ideological perspectives. You have the people that are in these ideological camps where you, this is this and that is that, and you can't differ from you can't like have any sort of nuanced perspective or look at people that have a different point of view in a charitable way and that's what's wrong with mainstream media um it's their way or the highway they they put out what they want you to see uh you know and a lot of their stuff is biased and I'm not saying some of these independent medias aren't. Some of them are. Some of them have been bought by mainstream media. So don't be fooled by that either. But yeah, man, it's 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 poisoning. It's 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 like being um it's like being on a a minefield, man. You walking around, you don't know where where you stepping at, you know? Uh, and that's what it's like, and that's what it's been for years. A lot of our social constructs, a lot of our society was based on certain things, especially in the last, I don't know, but I know in the last 10, 15 years, with the internet being what it is, that's changed. That's changed. People aren't tuning in to... Uh, Fox or whatever the, these news platforms or mainstream media platforms anymore. They're coming to guys like me. They're coming to guys like Joe Rogan. They're coming to guys like whoever you watch on YouTube or TikTok or Patreon, you know, or any podcast. You know, they're, they're coming to those guys because those guys have a freedom where they can speak about everything. We can talk about everything and, and bring some truth to what we're showing, speaking about, and hearing. So that's very important. You right. can't do that because then you're a sympathizer or you're a, you're platforming these bad and evil people and you're carrying water. For, there's all these stupid fucking phrases that they like to use. It's crazy how quick yeah. they jump. Yeah. yeah. But also, they're fucking dying too. Like all those media companies, they're no one can trust them anymore. And the reason why nobody trusts them anymore is because they're not trustworthy. Yeah. It's not, it's like, it's real simple. It's real clear. It's not like fucking, you know. So you, you last that cigar with one light up, huh? No, I, I had to hit it a second time. Okay, good. I hit it with this little lighter. I just, it wasn't as loud. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> yeah, it goes out. I think that, uh, you know, it's an interesting time though, because it's caused the emergence of, uh, you, well, the me. Yeah. But also independent journalism. Like guys like Matt Taibbi, guys who were with these corporate news structures who left, and now they're doing it on their own. Glenn Greenwald, uh, you know, uh, Crystal and Sager from Breaking Points, all these kind of people that you can trust. Because even if you don't agree with them, mm -hmm. you know they're not lying. That's all I need. <clears throat> That's all I need as well, man. Um, I don't mind disagreeing with someone. You can learn something from the disagreement. You can learn more about the topic that you, you can learn more about your stance by someone standing against what you stand for. Does that make sense? So I don't need it to be something I, I don't need you to spoon feed me. I don't need you to tell me what I want to hear. I don't need you to, any of that. Speak your piece, I'll speak mine. 
from your piece, I will gather some information where I can go do the research to make my stance stronger. Does that make sense? Like, we didn't care when we played sports in high school, when we went against our rivals. We didn't necessarily care about that they're rivals. I mean, that mattered. That was the emotional uh, motivation we needed to work harder than them. But we just wanted to beat them because we thought we were better. That's it. I don't need you to, I don't, I guess what I'm saying is, it's okay to uh, 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 believe what you believe, but if it's not challenged in any way, then, <clears throat> yeah, you need to shut up and sit down. Because, you know, and it's not about debating anyone. I'm saying if you're on your platform talking about, let's say, for instance, Black Lives Matter, Right? And why it's a great thing for black people. And I'm black, and I'm saying they don't do anything for black people. Now, you can have that stance. I don't hate you for that. I'm not angry or mad at you for your opinion. But if that's what you're spewing, but you're not really, really going into Black Lives Matter as the organization and show proof and evidence of the things they've done for the black community. But I have those arguments, but you won't allow that to be said. Oh no, I can't rock with you. I can't even be on, I don't even want to talk to you. I don't mind being wrong. I just don't like to be told what's right. Does that make sense? Don't tell me what's right when you haven't addressed this actual factual data that shows why that's what you're saying is wrong. Does that make sense? Right? But that's what's been going on with media for so long, man. And so many people are waking up to it. I think that I think that people are so much smarter than the media and those who run the media think, you know? We're, people are so much smarter than that, man. And, and people are waking up. People are seeing like, hey, hold on. This isn't. <laughs> every new level, mm, every new dimension. <laughs> Yeah, I know I get on my pre I, I get I get into my word, man. I get to uh giving you God's word. But the more and more people uh wake up or become informed or educate themselves and read and <laughs> a bunch of other things, um they, they 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 begin to see, man, the veil is removed. They begin to see things for what they really are. And then they can make their own decisions, judgments, and things of that nature off of seeing the truth. So, yeah, man, mainstream media is dying. I believe they don't have much longer uh, to have the control they have. There's a lot of uh, guys like Joe Rogan who have huge platforms, and they're speaking the truth, and they're challenging the lies. They're challenging uh, mainstream media uh, fearlessly, boldly, I love it. I love it. And that makes room for guys like me and others who 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 also have a voice. And, you know, it, it, it feels good. It's like having a union, you know. It's like you feel good and protected and, and just you have something to stand with you in this fight. So I love it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. You already know what to do, man. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button, man. Share it with your friends. Share it with your family. And don't forget, go to the Patreon. I will leave that link down below. I post there more frequently. You get exclusive content and, and freedom of speech is welcome there. All right? I love you guys. Go check out that Patreon. Also, subscribe to the channel. I love you guys. This your boy, Ron. 
This is Trigger Reactions. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.